Um, right, the, 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 um, just as I was saying earlier on, you know, when we started, the, the, the William Long Dictionary collection was a, was a big inspiration to us. And so over, over the last few years, we've found other bits and pieces. Um, one thing that's probably the most exciting thing about anything is something that uh, Brian Reese, wherever he is at the back, uh, I think was the first one to sniff out. But actually, there was a um, uh, unbroken singing tradition going on in the West White. Pretty much, well, throughout, well, we don't know how far back it was going, but certainly through the whole of the 20th century, up to about the early 1970s, they were still singing, largely based on two pubs, one in Holston and one in Brook. It was the son of Holston and what was the new inn at, at, at Brook, it's now the Three Bishops. Right. Right, sorry, Brook, I've got Brook on the mind. Um, and, um, you know, with, with you know, having followed up on Brian's lead to interview some of the, the, the well, was maybe one surviving singer, Chad Craig, he can used to go out there as a teenager, but uh, the, the, the main man out there was a guy called Bernard Phillips, and his son is still alive, and uh, we've had a, a look at his songbook, and again, we've had other people come up to us, with, um, people used to sing out there, Bob Castle, and, um, oh, what the guy's name, Sid Higgins, and the various these people, so there's a, there's a there's lovely big bulk of songs that were being sung in the tradition and by the old boys in the pubs in the West White because they didn't have, you know, their own entertainment, they didn't have buses, going back not that long ago, you know, early 70s. Um, you've got the folk revival in full swing in the 60s with the sloop and little did the people know that seven or eight miles away, you know, they were, they were still being sung, which is really exciting. Um, so we're going to sing a song from, from that tradition now, a guy called Alan Phillips, uh, who, who's a local historian, tips us off about this one. I think Bob Castle with his wife's father-in-law or something. There's some, some connection anyway. Um, uh, it's some sort of... Yeah, it is, yeah. My brother-in-law is also... Yeah. 